Good morning, kids. Welcome to Mathematics Year 2 with me, Madam Audrey. Okay, we are still at the topic of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Today, we are going to look at multiplication and division involving 1, 10, and 0. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Before we proceed, let's look at the learning standards for today. 2.3.2 Multiply one digit number with 10 as well as 2.4.2 Divide any two digit number with 10. Let's take a look at this multiplication. You have one cake on a plate. So one cake, one plate, one times one equals to one. Next one, you have one cake on a plate and there are two sets. Two sets of one cake on a plate. So two times one is two. Now you have three sets of a cake on a plate. So it's three times one, which is three. Same goes for four. Four times one equals to four. Five. Five times one equals to five. And same for six. Okay. So, any number that times 1 equals to the number itself. Nombor apa saja yang darab dengan 1 sama dengan nombor itu. If we get 100 times 1, we'll get 100. How about if we put 50 times 1? 50 times 1, then we'll get... 50. Remember, any number that times 1 equals to the number itself. Apa-apa nombor yang darab dengan 1? Sama balik dengan nombor itu. Next, we look at this multiplication. Okay, one plate but nothing on it. So, 1 times 0 times nothing, tak ada apa-apa, equals to 0. Next one, 2 plate, okay, but nothing on it. So, 2 set of plate with nothing on it is still 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Next one, we have 3 sets. Three sets of nothing equals to zero. Same goes for four. Four times zero equals to still zero. How about five? Five times zero? Anything? No, nothing. So it's still zero. Same goes for 6. Here, any number that times 0 equals to 0. Mana-mana nombor darab dengan sifar ataupun kosong sama dengan kosong. So, if we get 50 times 0, we still get 0. 
80 times 0, we still get 0. As long as you times 0, darab dengan kosong, darab dengan sifar, sama dengan sifar. Kids, do you remember this? This is blocks of 10. So one set blocks of 10 is 1 times 10. So is 10. If we have two sets blocks of 10 is 2 times 10. So we get 20. How about three? Three sets, three times zero is 30. Same goes for four. Four times 10 is 40. Five? Yes, five also will get 50. So here, any number that times 10 is the number with 0 after, equals to the number with the 0 after. Mana-mana nombor darab dengan 10 sama dengan nombor itu dengan sifar selepasnya. So if we get 10 times 10, we get 100. 100 is 10 plus another 0. We have looked at multiplication. Now, let us take a look at division. I have a cake. Then, I have a plate. So, a cake divided into one plate. It's 1 divided by 1 equals to 1. How about this? I have two cakes and I have one plate. So I put it into one plate. 2 divided by 1, we get 2. What if I have three cakes? and a plate. So I can only divide into one plate. 3 divided by 1, 3. 4, 4 cakes and still one plate. 4 divided by 1, we still get 4. Now, how about now? How many cakes are there? There are 10 cakes, but I only have one plate. So, if I divide it into one plate, I put it all into a plate. So 10 divided by 1 is 10. Any number divided by 1 equals to the number itself. Mana-mana nombor bila bahagi dengan 1 sama dengan nombor itu sendiri. For example, if I get 100 divided by 1, it's still 100. If I get 500 divided by 1 is still 500. Any number divided by 1 equals to the number itself. Mana-mana nombor kita bahagi satu, jadi balik nombor itu sendiri. Now we look at division of 10. So if 10 divided by 10, we get 10, bahagi 10. 10 divided by 10, we get, okay, 
we have to simplify it first. Okay, we cut off the zero, then we get one. If 20 divided by 10, we cut off one zero from each, we get two. Same goes for 30 divided by 10. Okay, if you cut one zero from the front, you have to cut one zero from the back. We get three. How about 50? 50 divided by 10, cut off one zero from each. We get five. How about 100? Remember, cut off only one zero from each. So the answer is 10. How about 450? Cut off one zero. We get 45. Any number divided by zero equals to the number itself minus a zero. Mana-mana nombor bahagi sepuluh sama dengan nombor itu tolak satu kosong. Next one. We have a plate and a person. Is there anything on the plate? No. So it's zero. Zero divided by one is zero. Sebab kita tak ada benda untuk bagi orang itu, jadi orang itu dapat kosong. Tak ada benda yang dapat dibahagi. Another example, we have three person but empty plate. So, when we divide, zero divided by three, Everyone get zero as well. How about now? Eight person. The plate is empty. So zero divided by eight. Everyone gets zero. Oh, nothing. So, zero divided by eight is zero. Zero divided by any number equals to zero. Kosong kalau bahagi mana-mana nombor saja, jawapan dia kosong. So, let's take a look at the summary. Remember this. Any number times one equals to the number itself. Mana-mana nombor kalau darab satu sama dengan nombor itu sendiri. Any number times zero equals to zero. Mana-mana nombor darab sifar ataupun darab kosong sama dengan kosong. Any number times zero equals to the number with zero after. Kalau mana-mana nombor itu darab dengan sepuluh sama dengan nombor itu tambah satu kosong ataupun sifar selepasnya. Any number divided by one equals to the number itself. Mana-mana nombor bahagi satu sama dengan nombor itu sendiri. Any number divided by 10 equals to the number minus a zero behind. Mana-mana nombor bahagi sepuluh sama dengan nombor itu tolak satu sifar. Jadi sebagai contoh, sepuluh. Bahagi 10, kita tolak 1 kosong daripada 10, ialah 1. And 
0 divided by any number equals to 0. Sifar, kalau bahagi saja mana-mana nombor, jawapannya masih sifar ataupun kosong. The exercise for today is to complete page 68, 69 and 80 of your mathematics activity book. That's all for today, class. Thank you and see you again next week. Goodbye.